the Maple Leaf Learning Playhouse. Hey guys! I don't usually make these kind of videos, but we made this craft with some of my students and I thought it was really cool, so I wanted to share it with you. First, you need a plastic bottle. Not all plastic bottles will work. The bottle must be very firm. I will give you some examples of good bottles at the end of this video. Next, you will need something that goes up and down. In Japan, you can buy these wonderful little plastic fish. They're used to carry soy sauce in, in lunch boxes. If you're living in America or Canada, you might also be able to find them in an Asian supermarket or online. But any airtight container will work. Next, we'll need something heavy to put at the end of the floater. For the fish, these bolts work the best. Next, you'll need a piece of wire cut to approximately 5 inches long. You will also need something for the fish to catch. Anything is fine, but it can't float, and it should be looped to make it easier to catch. Lastly, you will need some oil-based markers to decorate the fish and the bottle. I'll tell you more about those at the end of the video. Okay, let's get started. Thread the wire through the nut and twist to make a hook. It should look something like this. Next, carefully screw the nut onto the fish. Now for the fun part. We get to decorate the fish. The kids like this the best. Do the same thing with the bottle. Now we're all done. Now, just put in your hoops, add some water, put in your fish, and your kids are ready to go fishing. What a great craft. Not only is this a great craft for summer, it's also a good science project. Do you know what makes the fish go up and down? I do, but I'm not gonna tell you. If you can figure it out, please leave a comment below the video. Anyways, Happy fishing, and I hope your kids enjoy the craft as much as mine did. Please watch the end of the video for more information on where you can get the materials here in Japan. See you next time. Here in Japan, I found the best bottles that worked were Fanta and Coca-Cola bottles. The best way to tell is by looking at the bottom. Bottles with ridges like these tend to work the best, but weak bottles with flat bottoms don't work at all. These are the nuts that we used. They fit perfectly onto the fish. And the wire you can buy at any hardware store. The loops you can find at most dollar stores or in Japan, Hakuen shops. If you can't find them there, you'll definitely be able to find them in a toy store. And here at Maple, I've been saving these maple leaf bottle caps for months. I knew they would come in handy. Thanks for playing! Maple Leaf Learning Hey guys, I hope you're happy today. If you subscribe, I'll be happy too. Yeah!